Governor Charlie Baker and his final State of the Commonwealth address. He's promising tax breaks for some and pandemic recovery. Louisa Moeller is live at the Heinz Convention Center in Louisa. The governor says that he still has a lot of work to do. You know, Andrew Vittis, Governor Baker seemed energized and somewhat unrestrained, which makes sense for a man who's not running for re-election. Governor Charlie Baker kicked off his eighth and final State of the Commonwealth speech with some off-script comedy. My dad would have liked it, and my mom would have believed it. Some aimed at Labor Secretary Marty Walsh in the front row. Secretary Walsh, I miss you, man. A lighthearted baker presented his first five years of leadership as a time when the state was riding high. We had the highest number of people working in state history, wage gains at every level of the economy, and hundreds of thousands of new jobs, and it felt like the world belonged. Then came COVID. But Baker says the state stepped up with a COVID testing program for schools and with lots and lots of vaccines. 5.2 million people are fully vaccinated and about half of them have already received a booster shot. We are a national leader on this. With 11 months to go, what now? Baker's tone changed when he talked about a new push for laws to help victims of domestic violence. These women were bothered, battered, bruised and beaten time and again by their abusers, and nothing changed. He also plans to include tax breaks in his 2022 budget proposal, but stayed mum on the so-called millionaire's tax, a 4% tax hike on income over a million, which will head to the ballot in the fall. We'll also ask lawmakers to eliminate income taxes for the lowest paid 230,000 taxpayers here in the Commonwealth. Overall, he embraced themes that are not new to him, bipartisanship, and compromise. To understand that trust is earned and collaboration is how difficult things get done. <laughs> and the speech was delivered here at the Heinz Convention Center because the State House is still closed due to COVID. Live in Boston, Louisa Moeller, WBZ News. Louisa, thank you.